Hello everyone, Exo Man here, and I'm on a rant today. I'm pretty pissed off. Um, I want to talk today about bullies. I'm tired of bullies. I've dealt with bullies all my life, from the bullies on the schoolyard to my father. He was a bully. He mistreated my mother and us as children. But I'm tired of them, and I, I have resisted them in any way in every way that I can throughout my life and uh, I'm here to do the same today. Um, you know Hitler was a bully, that's right, he started as a bully with his brown shirts and uh, people were afraid. Nobody wanted to say anything, nobody wanted to do anything because who were they? They weren't powerful and Hit Hitler was rising to power and he had a bunch of thugs to do his bidding so people were afraid to stand up. Well, it, it's, it's much the same today. Um, we had, in later years, the Mafia came to this country and they were bullies. They extorted businesses. They would attack you or perhaps break your leg or, or, or kill you or burn your business down if, if you didn't pay their extortion money. There have always been bullies. There have always been big and powerful bullies. But today, I want to focus on the bully that is Yelp. Yelp, that's right. That's a big giant, to use someone else's word, words, a billion dollar bully. Okay, so, but before I go any further, l let me bring to your attention this young woman who, as of yesterday, is my hero when I learned about her. Her name is Kaylee Milliken. Or, yeah, that's right, I believe, Kaylee Milliken. And she has launched a Kickstarter project with her company that is called Post Productions. And I'm gonna put the link to that Kickstarter down below. I don't have any part of it, but I've donated money to it and I recommend you do as well. But you don't have to, just at least look, watch her video on this Kickstarter page and just see what she's saying, which is what I am resounding here. And I've seen it for myself. You might use Yelp yourself. You might find it to be a good and helpful service. Well, I'm here to tell you it's an extorting, an extortionary giant and what they're doing is criminal, in my opinion. They're extorting from companies. You see, they don't just publish what you have to say about a business. If you go to a restaurant and you eat it and you like it or dislike it, you feel like you have a little power and you can go and say so online. Well, good for you, that's great. I, I kind of like that idea. However, the conflict of interest arises when they start, when Yelp puts out an army of salespeople to sell advertising to these very same businesses and to sell favor to these same businesses. That's right. You see, think about the power that Yelp has. A company like Yelp, they can make or break a business. And what becomes fantastically evil in my mind is when they use that power to extort money from those businesses. And they very much are doing that. They harass business owners. If you have I have known many business owners that have, say, 30 or so reviews on their page. Well, guess what? They might have a smattering of those visible reviews be good reviews with four to six stars um, and some very ugly and nasty and critical reviews. But if you look way down at the bottom, you'll see filtered reviews. And most people don't see that. They don't pay attention to it. You click on that and I guarantee you, if you do uh, research across a hundred small businesses in your town, you're going to find some very nice reviews in those down below in those filtered reviews that are hidden from view. So then a Yelp employee calls that business owner who knows all too well about what's going on on their Yelp page and says, Hey, do you want to play the game? Just like the mafia guy, going to the pizza shop in 1938 and saying, hey, we can protect your business <laughs> or maybe bad things will happen to you if we don't protect your business. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's kind of what Yelp is doing. So <clears throat> if, if we know this about Yelp, what do we do? We keep our mouth shut because, mouth shut because we're afraid of this corporate giant? Not, no, not me. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my money in the fight and I'm going to put my dukes in the fight. It's just not fair and it's just not right. And 
So now that I've brought your attention to it, I want you to, I want you to think about this for yourself. Every time you use Yelp, think about what's hidden from you. Think about what you might not understand. Think about what you might not be seeing that Yelp is doing. Think about those business owners that are being abused by Yelp. Are all these reviews legit? Uh, I've had businesses where I've had people who haven't even used my business come and leave a negative complaint on Yelp. I've had people who've used another one of my businesses and it has nothing to do with, a, with one of my businesses they're reviewing on Yelp. I have very small bit companies. I've had one person who did business with a company that is of mine that is not listed on Yelp go to another business that I have that is listed by Yelp and leave some very ugly comments. It was a vendetta. They wanted to get even from me because they tried to steal from my business. I rebuked them and I beat them in court and they went to my other business and attacked it and Yelp let it stand. Meanwhile, they'll hide six or eight positive reviews from view. And they'll let a person who is obviously saying that reviewing another business, they're, they're stating the name of the other business, but Yelp allows that. So it's a, it's, a very, it's, it's a very wicked game, I believe, and I think it is worth your attention. So please visit the link below that I have posted to this young lady's uh, page on Kickstarter and at least check it out. At least watch her video. It's, it's very enlightening and interesting. And she's, she's, uh, ha she has a hell of a fight on her hands. Yelp is looking into her and, and you know, they're being the bully in the background, uh, much like the IRS has been to, to some uh, uh, people who have donated to, say, the wrong political party. Yeah. So um, pay attention and please uh, check out, dig a little deeper, uh, use Yelp if you like Yelp, but think about what they're doing and think about if it was you that was being extorted. Uh, they'll call these business owners day after day after day. We ignore them and they keep calling and they say, really want to talk to the business owner, really want to talk to the business owner, really, 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 because what they want to do is they want me to get to play the, to play the game and they want other business owners to play the game and funnel money into this gargantuan corporation. Well, I say it's time to bring, bring attention to it. Thank you for listening and please check out the Kickstarter link that I posted below. Have a good day.